Do you and your spouse get into the blame game about who should pick Bobby up from soccer? About whose turn it was to pay the bills? About whose turn it was to cook dinner? About who was going to get the present for grandma? If you and your spouse constantly battle between who will do what and when they will do it, this video is for you. Welcome to the number one place for super busy and super tired parents where I help you get the most done using the little time that you do have while skipping the frustration and the guilt. In today's video, I will be teaching you how to effectively communicate with your spouse about who will be doing what. We will be using Google Calendar to schedule your task. And I'm gonna walk you through step by step. I'm gonna show you my screen on how you can schedule tasks between yourself and your spouse and communicate. That way there are no mix-ups about who's doing what, when they're doing it, you know, where they need to be. It will all be in one app that you both can see. Now, I am not a fan of paper planners. Like, I think that they are outdated and they do not serve us very well. And the reason why I think that you should go digital with your calendar is for a number of reasons. And mostly because you need to have it on the go. Like, a lot of times you forget your planner, you don't have it. If you have your phone, you can easily update your spouse by changing the calendar and they will get a, no a notification as well. Now, if you absolutely love paper planners, then feel free to go ahead and use that as a way to dump your ideas. I know sometimes writing can be therapeutic. It feels like you're getting mental clarity and you can get all of that thoughts out of your head onto paper. So go ahead and feel free to do that as well. But once you've already written that out, I challenge you to use the tips that I'm about to tell you so that you can definitely communicate effectively with your spouse using a digital calendar. Before we begin, I need to invite you to the 2021 planning workshop. We're going to spend the entire month of January planning the entire year of 2021. This is not a fluffy vision board party. This is hardcore strategic action steps that you can take with a private intimate group each week through the month of January to plan 2021. So if you are not a hard worker, don't bother to join. If you like to make excuses, don't bother to join. But if you are serious about creating a strategic plan to finally accomplish those 2021 New Year's goals, then join us. The link will be in the description of this video. It is actually a bit.ly link and it's 2021 planning workshop. Now, in a few minutes, I'm going to turn my camera around and you guys are going to be able to see exactly how I schedule in Google Calendar or you can even use your phone calendar and it will link to your spouse's calendar or anyone that you want to share the calendar with so that they know exactly what to do and when to do it. Okay guys, so I just opened a random day in April of next year in my Google Calendar so that I can explain this to you. So what I want to do, show you exactly what you can do to get you and your spouse on the same accord. So you would essentially hit the plus button. Now I really love this because you can set goals, exercise, build a skill, family and friends, so on. You can hit reminders for yourself, remind me to, I don't know, buy a gift, whatever. You can hit task or you can hit events. So I like to hit events and we're just gonna call this test. And then my favorite part, of course, you can put your time in, you know, the time, the date. You can put all of that stuff in. You can put a location. So I don't know if it has to be at a certain place. You can go ahead and put that in. You can change colors if you like to, you know, make things all color coded. I personally don't do that. Um, maybe that's something I'll get into in the new year, but for now, that's a little too much for me. Um, you can even go ahead and put in a description. I don't know. Let's say pick Bobby and Daniel up from school. I don't know. 
You can add an attachment if there's something you want to attach. But here's where the magic comes in. You can add people. So you can just type in an email address of the person that you want to receive the, not the notification. And then that person will receive a notification letting them know that you have assigned a task for them. And then you just hit save. And now it's on your calendar, but the magic is it will be on their calendar as well. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that is super cool because let's say I need to make a change. Let's say I need, you know, this doesn't have to happen at 11 anymore. I need to change the time. You can go right in here and change the time and it's going to change on your calendar and the magic is it's now going to change on your spouse's calendar as well, or whoever you need to get that information, it's going to change on their calendar. So I hope that that is super helpful for you. Now, I do hope that that video was super useful for you. Well, if you enjoyed that video, then you will certainly enjoy this video here, which is a kind of a part one of this video. So this is part two, and that video there is going to be part one. And that's where we discuss more subjective ways that you can share responsibilities with your spouse and effectively communicate the expectations between the two. This video is more practical where you can actually download all of your expectations, all of the chores, all of the responsibilities and communicate that effectively in a digital way with your spouse. I would really love to see you guys on Instagram or Facebook. So be sure to follow and like me on Instagram and Facebook so that you can catch up with all of the behind scenes tips that I have. Because to be honest, sometimes I have some tips on the fly that I don't make into a video, I don't make into a post, but you can definitely learn from that. So I want you to follow me there so that you can catch all of the last minute behind the scenes tips and tricks that I share about time management there as well. I trust that this video was enlightening for you. I hope that you will go ahead and subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and leave a meaningful comment down below. Until next time, I want you to be bold. I want you to be great. And oh my dear, I need you to be beautiful. If you enjoyed that video, then you will certainly be bold.